This game is Fluffy Buds. Chapter 1 I think I came to a cafeteria with a pretty bright background. I see a red lock, so I guess I need a red key. Hi Todd, nice to meet you. Ah, I have a great idea. Let's play a fetch game to prove that we're best buds. Find the blue key and bring it back to me. Blue key? Let's look around first. The passage is dark, so I can't go in yet. There's a key in the trash can. Good job. Now find my spaceship and drive it back to me. What? You want me to bring you a spaceship? Where am I supposed to find that? Both of these doors are locked, but I already have the blue key. Hi, your locking dance is amazing. There's a tool hidden here. Goodbye, dancer. I can't get through here with the tools I just got. The tool I got earlier was a wire cutter. So, the note says that the yellow key is with the rat dancer, right? <laughs> what is that flying thing? It definitely passed this way, but now it's gone. I'm stealing your yellow key. Goodbye. Well, what is this place again? Let's find out what else is hidden here. I finally found the spaceship. I'll bring it to Todd. I thought you were going to give me the spaceship, but it turns out you're just playing with it yourself. Anyway, our next goal is to find a cowboy hat. Okay, I found the crowbar. Todd is so cute. Hello? Oh, it's a scarecrow. Let's check if there's anything else we need to grab. Well then, sorry, I'll take your hat. Goodbye, Mr. Baldy Scarecrow. Now you want me to bring a special ball? Uh, hi? <laughs> what the? Why are you laughing so badly?
There are a lot of posters stuck everywhere. Is this the cafeteria? Third friend is... Jenny? What does this mean? First is Charlie. Last is Freddy and second is Roy. It looks like a hint to a puzzle. This is Jenny's gift box. This is Roy's. This is Freddy's one. It's Charlie's gift box. There's another gift box? What on earth does this mean? By combining the hints we've seen so far, I should be able to enter the keypad code in the correct order. What the? Why did you suddenly appear? This time I will absolutely not get caught. But what does this on the top left mean? I just have to press the buttons all over the room to find the exit. Hey, stop following me. I survived. There's nothing special about it, so now I can return it to Todd. No! I've been dragged to a strange place. What the hell is this place? Are you saying I need to find the trophies? Alright. You want to play hide and seek? Just let me go. Anyway, let's quickly find the trophy. What the heck? Is that Todd? Oh, I guess this is the trophy. Where is the trophy hidden? What the? Todd? Game over. The locations of the trophies are not fixed, but are generated randomly throughout the area. I met that guy here again. I'm going to run away now. Fortunately, Todd is slow. The most important thing at this stage is that the more trophies I get, the faster Todd gets. When Todd spots me, he runs towards me saying something just like he did earlier.
What a scary friend. I've already been hugged once. The more trophies I get, the faster the footsteps feel. It's a really scary obsession. Where the hell are the rest of the trophies? What? There you are. No, no, no! With six trophies collected, Todd is incredibly fast. No! Sometimes, as you progress through the game, <laughs> you may occasionally encounter strange friend in the area. <laughs> to clear this stage, I found all the trophies, memorized their locations, and then retrieved them all at once before escaping. If memorizing the locations is too much, it's okay to grab a few trophies ahead of time, but keep in mind, that will make Todd move faster. In this area, I need to collect a total of 8 trophies, and I've already placed 3 on the pedestal. Oh please, I don't want to hug that Todd again. Ha ha ha, goodbye Todd. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.